What's up hockey fans? In today's video, we're diving into part one of a four part series looking at every team's GOAT. In this video, we're gonna look at the Metro division. And before we get started, let's lay out some ground rules. We're only looking at current NHL teams and each player can only pick once. So we may have some tough choices to make. Before we get started, as usual, help us out and hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's go. Starting us off, we have the Carolina Hurricanes. In this case, whether right or not, we're sticking with the Hurricanes and not including the Whalers, so our choice here is Eric Stahl. Stahl was selected second overall in 2003 by the Hurricanes and jumped right in, making his debut in the 03-04 season. The Thunder Bay Ontario native played his first 12 seasons in the league with the Canes, helping them earn their first ever cup victory in 2006. Stahl was the epitome of durability during his time there, missing only 14 games during his tenure. He scored just under 750 points in almost 850 games with the team, and overall has scored over 1,000 career points. He last played in the league last season, helping the surprise Florida Panthers reach the Stanley Cup Final. We had a hard time deciding between Rick Nash and Sergei Bobrovsky here for the Blue Jackets, but ultimately decided to go with Bob, since he was the cornerstone of the team during their most successful years. Bobrovsky embarked on his illustrious career with the Philadelphia Flyers and settled in as the backup to Ilya Brzgalov before the career-defining trade in 2012 that propelled him into the spotlight in Columbus. It was here with Columbus where he etched his legacy, serving as their stalwart goaltender from 2013 to 2019. Bobrovsky's tenure with the Blue Jackets was marked by outstanding achievements, boasting over 200 regular season victories. His exceptional skills between the pipes earned him the prestigious Vezina Trophy two different times, solidifying his status as one of the league's premier goaltenders. In 2014, he backstopped the Blue Jackets into earning their first ever playoff win, but in 2019 came a defining moment in Bob's career in the Blue Jackets playoff history, as he orchestrated a stunning upset against the President Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning. This triumph marked a watershed moment in Blue Jackets history, but unfortunately, shortly after Bobrovsky left Columbus for the riches of South Florida. At least there shouldn't be much debate over the GOAT for the Devils. Martin Brodeur is the obvious choice here. Brodeur redefined the goaltending position during his illustrious career. Spending the majority of his career with the Devils, he became a symbol of excellence between the pipes. Over his 22-year career, Brodeur established numerous records, including an unprecedented 691 career regular season wins, making him the winningest goaltender in NHL history. His durability and consistency were remarkable, appearing in 1,266 regular season games, another record for a goalie. Brodeur's unparalleled puck handling skills revolutionized the game, often acting as a third defenseman. Brodeur's trophy cabinet is adorned with accolades, including three Stanley Cup wins with the Devils and four Vezina trophies as the league's top goaltender. In the 06-07 season, he reached the pinnacle by setting a modern-day record with 48 regular season wins. Brodeur's influence extended beyond the regular season. He holds the record for most postseason shutouts with 24 and is currently second in NHL history for postseason wins with 91. Inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2018, Brodeur's legacy is etched in NHL history as a pioneer and one of the greatest goaltenders to ever grace the ice. If you look back through the years, especially in the 80s, you'll see some formidable players that don the Islander sweater. One player though stands above the rest, and that's Mike Bossy. One of the purest snipers to ever play the game, Bossy concluded his decade-long career with the Islanders, leaving an unforgettable mark with a staggering 1.5 points per game average and an unprecedented .76 goals per game average, the highest in NHL history. Selected 15th overall in the 1977 amateur draft, Bossy's loyalty to the Islanders resonated through every game he played. His remarkable goal-scoring prowess included an awe-inspiring nine consecutive 50-goal seasons. He was an eight-time All-Star. Bossy's trophy cabinet gleams with the Calder Trophy, three Lady Bings, the 1982 Conn Smythe, and was a two-time league goal-scoring leader. He also was a heck of a playoff performer, scoring 85 goals in 129 career games, while helping the Islanders win four straight cup championships. Unfortunately, injuries got the best of Bossy as he was forced to retire at the young age of 30. During his 10-year career, he scored an incredible 573 goals. If you're interested in more Mike Bossy, we did an earlier video on the top players whose careers were ruined by injuries. We'll link it above. The New York Rangers have had a handful of players where an argument could be made for the team GOAT, 
But when one of those players calls out another one, you listen. That's why our choice is Brian Leach. Spanning 16 illustrious years, Leach's tenure with the Rangers is etched in the annals of hockey lore. Inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2009, Leach's career is a testament to his exceptional skill and leadership on the ice. With over a thousand career points, he remains a rare breed, solidifying his status as one of the most prolific defensemen in NHL history. Leach's defensive prowess was unrivaled, earning him the Norris Trophy two times. However, his crowning achievement came in 1994 when he won the Conn Smythe Trophy while leading the Rangers to a historic Stanley Cup victory, a moment etched eternally in Rangers folklore. Elevating the blue line to new heights, Leach's 11 NHL All-Star appearances showcase his consistency and enduring impact. His name is synonymous with Rangers' defensive excellence, holding the record for most goals and points by a defenseman in team history. Beyond statistics, Brian Leach embodies the spirit of the Rangers, a leader, a champion, and an icon. As the banners sway in Madison Square Garden, his legacy lives on, an indelible mark on the franchise and the sport he graced with his brilliance. If it's time to talk about the Flyers, it's time to talk about Bobby Clark. Bobby Clark is Philadelphia Flyer hockey. Clark orchestrated a legendary era as the captain of the Broad Street Boys during the team's pinnacle in the 70s. Clark's leadership was a driving force behind the Flyers' back-to-back -back Stanley Cup victories in 1974 and 75, etching his name in the franchise's history. A perennial presence at the All-Star Game, Clark earned the distinction eight times, a testament to his consistent excellence on the ice. His offensive prowess was equally impressive, accumulating over 1,200 points in a career that defined an era for the Flyers. Clark's individual accolades speak volumes about his skill and dedication to the game. The three-time Hart Trophy winner showcased his dominance, complemented by 300-point seasons and two assist-leading campaigns. Adding to his impressive trophy cabinet, Clark's defensive prowess was recognized with the Selkie Award in 1983, underlining his versatility on the ice. Bobby Clark's legacy extends far beyond statistics. He remains an enduring symbol for Flyers' greatness and a driving force behind the team's historic achievements. This one's an easy one, right? No player for the Capitals has left a mark on the franchise quite like the great eight, Alex Ovechkin. As he embarks on his 19th NHL season, everyone's keeping an eye on the Caps box score as he chases Wayne Gretzky for the all-time goal scoring record. With a current tally of over 820 goals, He's within striking distance, probably next season if all goes to plan. The quest for greatness is a testament to Ovechkin's relentless pursuit of excellence on the ice. The pinnacle of his career came in 2018, when Ovechkin led the Capitals to their first and only Stanley Cup victory, earning both the coveted Conn Smythe Trophy and the Cup. His offensive dominance is highlighted by an astonishing nine Rocket Richard trophies, showcasing his consistency as the league's premier goal scorer. Accolades and honors further decorate Ovechkin's extraordinary career. 13 All-Star appearances, three Hart Trophy wins, the Calder Trophy in 2006, and Art Ross Trophy in 2008. Alex Ovechkin's impact on the Washington Capitals transcends statistics. He's the living embodiment of a franchise icon, a leader and the greatest player to don the Capitals jersey. And last but not least, the Penguins. For the younger generation, you may automatically think Sidney Crosby is the GOAT. But for us, this one's an easy one. Mario Lemieux has done more for the Penguins than probably any athlete has done for their team. Arguably the best NHL player of all time, his legacy is defined by unparalleled skill, leadership, and statistical supremacy. Lemieux's impact is etched in Pittsburgh and Penguins history, making him an icon beyond compare. Statistically, Lemieux's numbers are nothing short of extraordinary. He boasts an incredible 1.88 points per game over his career, he hit 199 points in the 88-89 season, a testament to his offensive prowess. Remarkably, his career was punctuated by health setbacks, including a battle with cancer. Yet he managed to amass 690 goals and over 1,700 points in just 915 games. Lemieux's leadership was equally exceptional. He resurrected the Penguins from financial ruin, ensuring the team's survival in Pittsburgh. Beyond financial wizardry, he led on the ice, Captaining the Penguins to two consecutive Stanley Cups as a player in 91 and 92, and then three more later as an owner. We could talk about his battle with cancer and all the other injuries, how he scored five goals five different ways in one game, or how he scored a goal on his first shot of his first shift. There's really not enough time to get into everything that he's done. 
In the annals of Penguins history, Lemieux's influence extends beyond statistics. His legacy is a fusion of resilience, skill, and a profound impact on and off the ice, securing his status as the unequivocal best player to have ever donned the black and gold. And there you have it, hockey fans, the best player from every team in the Metro Division. Let us know what you think, if you agree or disagree, or if we miss something. Next up, we'll talk about the Atlantic Division, so be on the lookout for our next video, or just subscribe so you get the little notification. Until then, it's a great day for hockey.